Welcome to the world of angles. Let's explore what an angle is. An angle is formed when two lines, rays, or line segments cross each other or intersect. They start at the same end point. Here are some examples. Angles are measured in degrees. To understand degrees, we will use line segments in a circle. Take a look at this circle. If you rotate the line segment all the way around until it comes back to the first one, it forms a complete circle. A complete circle is one full turn and it measures 360 degrees. So one degree is a small portion of a full turn, specifically one degree out of 360 degrees or one 360th of a turn. So if you make one 360th of a turn, you've made a one degree turn. Let's look at some benchmark angles. Let's look at 30 degrees. Since one complete circle is 360 degrees, 30 degrees is part of that turn. The fraction of that turn represented by 30 degrees is 30 degrees out of 360 degrees. You can simplify by dividing top and bottom by 30. That gives us 1 12th. Let's try 60 degrees. 60 out of 360 degrees can be simplified by dividing top and bottom by 60. That gives us 1 6th. How about 90 degrees? 90 out of 360, that can be simplified to 1 4th. And last, let's try 180 degrees. 180 out of 360 can be simplified to 1 half. Let's check out this problem. What is the measure of an angle that turns through one-fourth of a complete circle? So we're looking for one-fourth of a circle. We need to figure out how many degrees out of 360 that would be. So let's see if we can solve our equivalent fractions. To get from 4 to 360, we would multiply by 90. That means we need to multiply the numerator by 90. 1 times 90 is 90. So our answer is 90 degrees. Let's look at this one. Caroline moved the hand of a spinner 180 degrees as shown below. What fraction of a complete turn through a circle is 180 degrees? Well, 180 degrees out of 360. If we simplify this fraction, 180 goes into both of those numbers. So 180 divided by 180 is 1, and 360 divided by 180 is 2, so that means our answer is 1 half. And that makes sense because our picture, the arrows went 1 half of the way around the circle. Let's try one last problem. Which statement is true for a 100 degree angle? The first answer choice says the angle is acute. That's not true. Acute angles are less than 90 degrees. The second answer choice says the angle is a right angle, but right angles are exactly 90 degrees, not 100, so that answer choice can't be correct. The next answer choice says the angle turns through 100 one degree angles. That's correct. Let's just check out the last answer choice to be sure. The angle is 10 360ths of a circle. But if that were true, it would be 10 degrees. So that answer choice can't be right. So it must be this one. Hooray, you learned all about angles. Good luck on the problems.